hi guys welcome back to the channel and uh, this is the last tutorial on mastering SOLIDWORKS drawing so in the previous tutorial we saw how to uh, model the simple part and for this tutorial I'm going to use this part and then we are going to create all the required views for uh, for it to be manufactured all right so I will be doing the standard using the industrial standard of uh, uh, so doing the drawing and uh, if you are working in our industry you might be uh, familiar with the uh, tools and options that we have to use when we create a template and then put all the views uh, for a part or an assembly all right if in case if you have any doubts with this one feel free to comment down below as i will be happy to answer you in the comment box Okay, enough talking let's start with the tutorial now we have the part i just close the window close all and let's start fresh drawing okay now here you will be asked to select the st uh, standard sheet size you can uh, go for custom sheet size if you have or else i will be using the standard sheet size but i'm going to modify it according to my uh, preference okay so i'm going to use b and c landscape for now press ok i don't want to place any view for now and uh, yeah our sheet is ready if you can expand your sheet one you can right click on your sheet format and see all the properties if you uh, want to name the sheet you can do that you want to change the scale you can do that you can see the type of projection you are using and uh, over here also you can use a different sheet size so if you do that and apply changes your, your changes will be uh, done accordingly here you have uh, the option to add label so for uh, for now it's as set as a for the datum as well as the view i'll keep it whatever it is let's cancel it now what we can do is we can do few more changes so that uh, it will be easy for us to do the drawing and to do that let's go to tools options let's head to document properties make sure your overall drafting standard is ANSI and then let's go to dimension and select the font change the font units to 3mm as the height and spacing as 1mm you can also change your font size uh, font type and the font style okay I'll keep it like that and over here I want to change the uh, basically the arrow so I will do 1 mm for the arrow height 3 mm for the width and 6 mm for the length so we have customized the arrow and after that we'll go to views expand it go to auxiliary make sure you are using base auxiliary view standard as ANSI as well and in the details uh, we don't want the details so let's go to section make sure it's also ANSI and change the arrow to 2mm for the height 6mm for the width and 12 for the length these are the basic changes that uh, we have to do for this tutorial i'll press ok and your changes will be added now if you are familiar with uh, working in solidworks drawing we have the option to utilize layers while we are creating the drawing so what basically a layer will do is you can have a separate layer for let's say dimension a separate separate layer for uh, some nodes and uh, a separate layer for other stuff so you don't miss uh, you don't have to do it on the same layer so it's easy and uh, if you don't know just right click somewhere here and go to toolbar and make sure your layer panel is on in case if it is not ticked just click it and it will be added so this is our layer panel right now we are on the none and we have the option to check layer properties where we have the only one layer which is format let's add in few layers 
so to add in just type in dim you can give the description as this is dimensions let's add one more layer let's say this is for notes give the description as general notes and let's add one more layer which will be our hidden dims and in the description let's type in uh, hidden insert dimensions okay and we have created three layers but uh, you can see the style and the color is almost same so let's change the color for the hidden dims and let's keep it blue for now and press ok so now your layers will be added let's keep it to none for now because we are going to utilize it later in the tutorial okay now we have set the layer let's start with the sheet okay so if you want to edit the sheet just right click on the sheet and go for edit sheet format and i want you to come to this area and you'll see a hidden text option so it says dollar prp company name we want to specify the company name over here and do that you have to go to file properties and add you can add some summary as well so let's say author is your name or let's say author is document controller and then keyword says guide and comment is guide part for customer xyz then add title and subject but let's go for custom and add a new property called company name and here we'll have text as the type we'll type the value so let's say i will type in ky designs and once you do that you'll be uh, added into the evaluated value as well okay i'll press okay for now and it will be added now if you you can see it's not uh, visible right now so you can come to this area and then see this will turn into text and just double click and from here once you double click you have the option to add notes but we don't want to type in so we'll go for link to property and uh, in the property name i'll say company size okay if you want to change the font and all justification bold all these different options for formatting you can use it but let's say i'm happy for happy with this one and it will be added so very easily you can add whatever uh, value or the text you want to add you can do do it from there okay the next thing that we have to do is we can pretty much edit this one so i want to edit this area where it is written interpret geometric tolerance just double click and then i will add this is according to sme y 14.5 14.5 it basically states the geometric tolerance what kind of tolerance you are using you have to specify the standard and for this tutorial i'm using asme y14.5 standard okay let's come to this uh, part of our title box and we'll, we are going to change this inches so we are not using inches in fact we are using millimeters so let's type in millimeters okay and then we are not using fractional tolerance so just get rid of that we are not doing any bend operations so let's get rid of that for the angular mac We can add uh, the degree values so i'll go for 
let's say zero and if you want to add symbols you can come over here left side and add symbol of the degree and 30 minutes okay zero degree 30 now we are not going to use uh, utilize three place decimal we are just going to use one and two place so let's edit it one and two for the one place we are using 0 0.5 for the two place we are using 0 0.15 okay once you have it you can click anywhere on the sheet and and then come out of the edit and it will be uh, all the things will be added accordingly all right from here let's save it for once let's call it guide i'll save it to desktop starbucks drawing fine now we can add our logo over here uh, whether it's a company or if you want, are doing as a freelancer like me we can add a logo over here so to do that we can right click again go to edit sheet format and let's go for a sketch take a line and draw a line like this okay now if you see your new lines are pretty much thicker and uh, all the previous lines that are there in the title box they are like uh, very thin so this should not be the case we have to match the thickness and to do that you have to utilize the formatting so if you want to do that right click go to toolbar and uh, make sure your uh, this one is formatting and uh, you have different options so you can utilize line thickness from here i'll select both the lines and then go for default thickness so that it matches to the other lines that are there All right now we can add our logo and to do that you have to uh, do sketch picture and uh, to do that you have to come to sketch tab and right click go to customize and in the commands you come to sketch you can add your sketch picture option into the toolbar like that you can just drag it to here i've already added so let's add the picture i have to browse my files so i think it should be here and uh, the format that you can use for a uh, picture is all these formats bmp gif jpg jpeg and tf all those different format and make sure your background is removed you don't want any backgrounds all right i will resize it to fit it in the box and go for transparency from file and press the green tick see okay. very easy you can add any other logo if you want you have your company logo you can also do that like using the same option okay next thing that we can do is we can save the sheet format so this is our sheet uh, we haven't put any uh, drawing on it so let's save this sheet format so that we can utilize it in the uh, further any uh, work that we are going to do in drawing so let's go to file save sheet format you have three options right save save as and save sheet format if you do save sheet format you will be given uh, save as type as sheet format dot sld drt so this is for the sheet format type let's type in custom b because we have modified the b and c landscape and save once you do that 
you can also save this template all right so let's go for file save as i want to save it as a template so let's go for drawing template and let's call it b and c mm and let's save it to anywhere let's go for desktop save now we have saved the templates you can then add your template to a uh, solid work so that whenever you want to uh, start a new drawing so if you see uh, we have options to go to advance we have option to add templates like this and i have already added so you can do that very easy just go to tools options file locations and here just add your location wherever your template is saved once you do that you have to click two three times yes and your uh, template location will be added and uh, yeah you can utilize it in your further work so easy to store something like that yeah all right let's open our part and insert our views because we have done the sheet format and all the sheet essentials that we have to do so let's go to view layout to exit the sheet format let's go to model view browse your part pause it this go for create multiple views and select the views that you want just the green tick and your views will be added okay now we can make few changes all right so a few changes that will do to our views is i will select this and delete this one no select this isometric view and say display style shading with edges then drag it somewhere here drag it somewhere here and drag this somewhere here okay now the other thing that i want to do is i'll select this view and go for hidden lines removed and similarly do that for this one as well now we have a much clear view of our part okay let's add few more views and i'll start with the auxiliary view if you haven't watched the tutorial on how to create the auxiliary view make sure you watch it okay sorry i don't want to create the auxiliary view i'll select section view and then select our section for this one okay let's create our auxiliary view for this edge okay all these uh, views tutorial i have already up uploaded uh, as a single tutorial so if you have any doubts regarding these particularly these uh, views you can go and check it on my channel it's very easy now i will select my auxiliary view and make sure it's also hidden lines removed let's go and delete this one and i want to add a center line so go for annotation center mark yes and now i can give a detail view for this part view layout detail view draw a circle like this and drag it somewhere here okay so now we have added all the required views and 
in case you want to edit all these uh, arrows and all you can do that if you want to edit the hatching you can also do that just select it and uh, the annotation you can go for area fill and hatch and you can make it whatever you want but for this tutorial let's shorten this a bit okay. now i want to make this uh, auxiliary view you don't want this extra part to be visible so let's select the auxiliary view and go for view layout and crop view and then go to sketch select a spline and draw a spline like this select yes go to view layout crop view and your view will be cropped just like that so that's what we wanted actually we don't want it the we didn't want it the full thing and this is for the section view and uh, one more thing that we can do with this one is we can go for a change in scale so select it change the scale to 3 is to okay. 3 is to 2 the grand tick right let's add the center mark okay looks better all right now we can uh, start with adding the dimensions so i'll just switch my layer to dimensions and uh, let's start with the front view okay uh, we need some center lines so go for center line add two center lines like this and then let's start with the smart dimension from this edge to this edge go for uh, tolerance precision with unit precision as none because we don't want it to be 100.00 then go to leaders custom text pro position and select this one looks good let's give our angular dimension between these two 10 that's fine and I want to give a dimension for this one again. Unit precision none. I can go to custom and use whatever format you want. Okay, I like this one, so I'm going to use it. The next thing that we are going to use is whole callout. So select the whole callout and add the dimension. Now here I want to add uh, limit tolerance with positive as uh, 0 0.015 while the negative as uh, 0 0.000 go to leaders and if you want to modify the leader you can do that but I think this one looks good just drag it and we have added the tolerance value as well now you can see we added 10.015 but it's only showing up to two decimals so let's edit it to 0.3 it will be it will be visible all right let's add one more dimension from here to here there's 50 unit precision none leaders custom horizontal k and one more dimension for these two this is also unit precision none leaders custom k 
right let's add the last dimension for the front view which is going to be from the center to this edge should be 29 none unit precision leaders custom 39 uh, let's say this but let's drag it into the middle and then go for horizontal okay now i will adjust this so that looks neat and yeah let's it looks more neat now and everything is nice and visible right let's move on to the top view and uh, over here we want some um, dimension as well and before that let's add one center line for the hole and uh, over here i want to uh, see my center line for the slot so go for view hide and show temporary access so your center lines for the uh, slots will be visible and then you can go for smart dimension give them dimension just like we did before okay another dimension from here to here nice and easy okay another dimension between these two so let's go for leaders I like this one and then we can add our radius so let's first more dimension and it's going to be two times r okay so I'll just type in two times r or so r4 is basically the radius 4 and then we are using it two times so that indicates means the leaders this one and yeah that looks good let's add few more dimensions from this edge to the center line and change the unit precision change the custom text position position like that another dimension I want to give from this extreme to this extreme so let's select these two and you see it's not selecting the extreme so let's drop it here and then go to leaders go for our condition max and it will select the end the arcs okay, go for a custom text position like that so I'll just adjust the dimensions so you can see what's going on. Okay, the final dimension that we want is from this edge this age should be 30 go for unit position none leaders custom so, okay let's drag it a bit there and yeah we have added all the necessary dimensions now so we can go to view hide show temporary access we don't want it 
and this is a bit okay now let's move on to the say section view and in the section view all we can do is we can add few center lines so for center line these two these two so we can add center lines to the holes these two and these two okay and then we can add a smart dimension in the center lines like this go for unit position none with the uh, go for parenthesis leaders custom like that looks clean okay and our detail view is fine now the only thing that we have to do is the cropped auxiliary view okay now if you see these uh, this is an auxiliary view so it's uh, center lines uh, the axis of the holes should also be uh, according to the rotation of the I mean the face and but it's not it's uh, going against the rotation so we have to rotate the lines first and to do that let's select this one and in the angle you can just type in zero degree it will be adjusted I'll do for all of this because you know when when we created the auxiliary view it's uh, like a on a slanted face and uh, the axis should also be uh, parallel to the face so when we created the view it's going uh, in some degrees so we just adjusted it over here now here we can uh, utilize again whole call out to give uh, details of the whole that is going on and say we can keep it somewhere here let's drag this a bit to adjust this a little okay so whole call out looks fine 6 times 2.5 6 and then m3 0.5 want you can adjust you can go for 0.1 decimal okay and leaders look fine so just keep this like that and we have to add few more uh, dimension details in this one so let's go for view height show temporary axis and you'll see the axis for this auxiliary view and let's give a smart dimension between these two okay 12 and precision none if you want you can change the leader Custom like that. Okay, we can put it inside like this. All right. We can also give one more dimension from here to here, which is twenty, and then change the reader. Custom text position. Perfect. We can hide the temporary axis and we have completed drawing all right okay now we have I think we have added all the essentials for 
this we can then move on and add few nodes if you want to and uh, the last part will be to add the revision table okay and uh, yeah it will be done so if you want to add nodes you can go and change the layer and uh, the layer you can pretty much change it to notes and then go for typing the notes so the notes that i want okay so i'll just type in here one note so let's go for notes layer and then drag a note here let's add all rounds r1 mm The second node that I'm going to add is remove all bars. If you want you can do the formatting, but let's say I don't want it. And we have added the notes. Okay. So these two are the notes that I wanted to emphasize on this drawing. Okay. And we have not stated our R1, so let's zoom in and state r1 over here change it to none and then we can go for leaders custom so now if anybody uh, anybody from the manufacturing sees what's r1 they know that all rounds r1 mm and uh, this is of radius 1 mm and remove all the bars these are the important notes that we have added and let's add the very last part which is the revision table and to do that let's change our layer to none and uh, let's go and add Revision table which is insert table and revision table to specify the green tick and it will be added. Okay. Now if you want to add a revision, just click to add it and then will be asked what kind of revision you are making so i'll just select this face and add a balloon and once you do that you have to specify the description so i will say release to manufacturing approved and say document controller and just like that we have added a uh, revision table it could be uh, anything uh, if you want to add some more revisions you can keep on adding the revision like that and uh, yeah this makes the whole thing complete all right we want to add the revision you can just right click and we can add in so to do that let's go to files properties and let's in add in uh, we have already seen added the revision and uh, okay 
let's call this part number so i'll just say part number this is one of the property and in this one i will enter some random numbers this could be your um, official part numbers for the part which you are doing and in this one i will say drawn by here i can say this is drawn by me okay and drawn date is very important so this is also uh, a text so i'll just type in let's say 06 0 okay once you do that you can press okay and now we can add these uh, options so in the title box we can add so just right click go for update sheet right click edit sheet format and we can link this so just double click link property drawn this one is drawn by okay and this one is another property which is drawn date okay you feel this is uh, a bit again can this shorten it if you want you can change the fonts or you can adjust the lines that's not a big deal okay we have also added the revision over here you can see uh, it should be adding our uh, so we need to change the drawing number I'll just link it to the property that we just created this is the part number okay all right this is going weird let's check the properties okay if you want you can with them and i don't know why it was showing that once you have added all the details you can just get out of your uh, drawing okay now you can also add uh, the finish and the material and uh, you can do that so for that to happen we have to specify the material to our part so let's open the part guide let's assign a material edit material I'll go for AISI 304 apply okay then switch back to your drawing sheet and the material we can go to file properties we can do okay the custom configuration let's open the, our part let's go to the configuration manager and right click go to properties here you have the option to add custom properties okay so just go for that let's say this is our material and we'll go for text and uh, we can go for 
another property which is finish let's go for text now this is our material and this is our finish is 0 0.80 okay once you do that uh, return to your let's press the green tick and then return to your sheet and it will be updated according to the material and finish that you have specified okay now we want to uh, add uh, some symbols to our finish so let's double click right click edit sheet format double click to this area and over here i want to add my crone so i'll change the font to sw Greek and here you press the M key sorry if we change the font to SW Gothic and then press M Mm -hmm. this should be swg not gothic it should be sw greek c and then press m so it will be added as a micron and then switch it back to century gothic so that you can add meter so if you want to add micron meter you can do like that and your finish will be created so yeah that's how we can create a professional uh, standard sheet inside solidworks drawing this comes to an end after so long i don't know when it has started it almost took like a month and uh, yeah that's it with the tutorial if you guys have any doubts or if you guys have any request for future courses or tutorials make sure you comment down below and uh, i will be happy to answer your queries Okay, see you guys in the next tutorial. Until then, peace out.